Hey everyone, welcome to my new channel. I've got a booktube. Uh, actually, I have multiple channels. If you're looking at this on TikTok, I stick everything that I ever do on TikTok, so it seems like a wild hodgepodge of crap because it's a wild hodgepodge of crap. If you don't like that, I suggest not following that. Uh, so why do I have a booktube? I am definitely not the booktube type. My wife, on the other hand, loves booktubes, and I watch them with her sometimes, and they never talk about the books I like. And my wife hates the books I like. So much so I've been um, jokingly referring to my books as trash books. What's a trash book? Um, a trash book, in my opinion, is anytime you're like at a bookstore, you're going through the shelves, you're looking for that, I don't know, new read, that new mystery, or maybe even a classic that you've read before, and you start skimming over stuff like movie novelizations, uh, Books that are based off TV properties, things of that nature. That, to me, is a trash book. Doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that you're more likely to throw it away than read it. Uh, why do I like them so much? Because they're interesting. Because there's often like little tidbits of stuff that makes the properties they're based off of more interesting. Now, we're not just going to be talking about those books. We're going to have good books. We're going to have different types of books. Um, oddities here and there. But the type of books I'm talking about at the moment are books like Gremlins. Now look at that. Why is this interesting? First off, it's a child's book. But this is, for the longest time, until that new cartoon came out, the only place that explains where Mogwais come from and why a Mogwai is like usually pretty evil when it's born versus gizmo it seems to be the only good one we'll cover this we're not doing this one today though or do you know there are little novels based off of the haunted mansion the amusement park ride yeah if you didn't like the movie here you are Ooh, we'll talk about these another time Right now, due to the fact I'm trying to drag in some clicks um, from the popularity of the new Deadpool movie, I'm going to talk about Deadpool Pauls. Uh, I literally read this hoping that it would be like this fun book and I'll be able to go into it and talk to you. And even if you like this book, there's nothing wrong with that. This is terrible. I even tried it in the audio version. And the audio version is even worse because the book, um, well, it's not only done by the perspective of Deadpool, he narrates it. And if you know anything about the character, uh, he's literally word diarrhea. I'm a comic book fan. I'm an old school comic book fan. I love Deadpool. Deadpool has been one of my favorites for a very long time. I love the movies. Sadly, once the movies came out, the comic book version of Deadpool has been kind of lacking lately. And he's a little reminiscent of that in the book. But the primary problem with this book is, it's a lot of Deadpool. And Deadpool, if you know anything about the character, has a terminal case of ADHD. And his mind is all over the place throughout the book. There are some fun parts. Um, the humor sometimes is funny. Uh, usually it's, I don't want to say juvenile. I have a very juvenile sense of humor. But there's juvenile uh, clever, and there's juvenile, oh, you farted in your pants, ha, ha, ha. This kind of leans into the farted in your pants, ha, ha, ha. You know what? No, I'm not going to say that because it's worse than that because I still laugh at the fart in the pants. But that was my hope, though. Like, with the movie coming out, I was like, well, let's do a Deadpool book. And I did it, and it's terrible. And there, another reason why I'm not really getting into the plot too much is, A, you might want to read it yourself. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a little hint, though. It involves dogs. It involves dogs that can mutate. It's first thing you find out in the book. I'm not spoiling anything. It's little puppies that turn to monsters. Deadpool is tasked by S.H.I.E.L.D. to round them up. It's terrible. I'm not going to go any further in the book for two reasons. 
First one, you might want to read it yourself. The second reason it's so bad I don't remember that much of it is like sliding off of my brain. It, it was it just did not want to stick. I think a Deadpool book could be fun. There are other books I will check them out at some point. This is not it. And, and I get what the writer was trying to do. I get that. The writer was trying his best to capture the character. The problem is some characters you don't want to be inside the head of. Some characters you want to be outside looking in. Um, yeah, it's, it's just bad. I, I really hate starting out the series with a bad book. But here we are. Now that's out of the way, and since this is the very first video, as I said earlier, uh, I'm calling it Trash Books because that's my nickname for the type of books I like. A, these aren't going to be the only type of books we talk about. Uh, B, just because I'm calling it Trash Books doesn't mean I hate these books. I hate this book. But it doesn't mean I hate this kind of book. It's just a nickname. So if you like these books, don't take it personal. I am not a, uh, I've, I've been an avid reader for a long time, but I'm not your traditional reader. I don't brag about how many books I've read or how quickly I read a book. So if I slow down an output, it's only because I actually like enjoying my book. I like hearing the characters. I like visualizing what's going on, living the book as I go. Except for this book. This one's bad. So... I'm going to try to put them out pretty regularly, but if I don't, just hang out, wait, it'll come eventually. And um, I do have other channels now. You're probably also wondering, why am I calling it Trash Books and why do I have a reference to a uh, Camp Clown Bear? That's a project I've been working on. I've actually renamed a few of my channels after that. I'm pretty flighty though. I tend to rename stuff. I, I like branding things a lot. So that's really it. Um, oh, go see, I know this isn't supposed to be movie stuff, but go see the Wolverine, or Deadpool Wolverine movie. It is really good. And if you're a comic book nerd, it's even better because there are just references galore throughout. And yeah, and um, don't read this unless you just hate yourself. If you hate yourself, read it. Read it a few times. Other than that, don't read this. Deadpool Paul's bad. Let's go up with a rating system. You know, if anyone actually watches this first video, give me an idea for a rating system. Yeah, this is just, just bad. I'm, I'm literally just flipping through it now to see if there's anything of any interest I can say about it. There is not. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's not. I mean, I was going to read a little bit too so you can get an idea of it, but yeah. There are other uh, Marvel characters in here, so that's fun, I guess. But it's just bad. Hey, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know what? I hope you subscribe. I hope you stick around. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Unless it's regarding me getting a haircut, I'm aware. I just haven't had time to get it done yet. If it's about how ugly his shirt is, I'm aware, but I like it. If it's about how creepy my back wall is, yeah, but it's the only one I got. I have to do this in the basement. Um, that is it. So, get suggestions, ideas, I'm wide open. Follow, talk. And if you actually enjoyed this book, let me know why. I am very curious.